in the installation guide, see links in the more information section of this slide. Now you need to have NetWeaver installed prior to installing EIS, but you only need a basic Java stack to do so. The installation also includes the deployment, but that will be covered in a separate video. The SCA file that is needed for deployment is not available on the marketplace. It is the output from running the install-smartops script. And finally, do not configure any additional Java server processes when installing NetWeaver. You'll need to know the following information before running the script, including the installation directory, the username and password for the MIPO user, the name of the Oracle instance where EIS schemas are installed, the name or IP address of the server, and the port that the Oracle listener is connected to. When you extract the installation software for the application, you'll have two scripts, one for Windows, one for Unix. We're going to run the shell script for Unix in this example, but the steps really are the same regardless. You'll be asked the first question, which is where to unpack the EIS configuration files. This is the installation directory where you want to have the application deployed. You next need to enter the name of the Oracle user for the MIPO schema. If you took the default installation settings when you installed the schemas, that would be SOPS underscore MIPO. Enter the password for that user. It will be echoed as plain text here, but it will be encrypted. Enter the name of the Oracle instance where the EIS schemas are installed. That's NW1 in our case here. Enter the IP address or the server name of the server where the database is installed. And finally, the port that the Oracle listener is connected to. You'll see that once you hit enter here, uh, the script will finish rather quickly, and the result will be the output of the SCA file. Now I'm gonna list it here, and you'll see that it has uh, a modification time. Once this is complete and you don't have any errors, then the installation part is complete, and the deployment will be covered in a separate video. Thank you.